On a factory floor, a paper machine runs at full speed as a worker moves near the active infeed, unaware of how rapidly the rollers draw material inward. Never, ever place hands, tools, or clothing near an exposed infeed or nip point while the machine is energized. Inside a truck, manual repositioning begins near a heavy container for forklift unloading with the open edge very close by. Use load restraints, fall protection, and a coordinated unloading plan before access to the truck bed or any attempt to push or reposition freight. Treat the truck bed as an exclusion zone. Secure the load, plan the lift, and reposition with equipment, not guesswork. In a titanium smelting facility in Sichuan province, the quiet of the night is broken when a sudden flash of energy surges through the site. Never, ever allow oxygen systems to operate with leaks, poor isolation, or uncontrolled ignition sources in high-temperature industrial environments. Oxygen itself is not flammable, but it dramatically accelerates combustion. When leaked into an industrial space, it enriches the air, lowering ignition thresholds and increasing burn intensity. In a smelter where heat, metal surfaces, and energy sources are constant, an oxygen-enriched atmosphere can turn a small ignition into a rapid pressure and energy escalation, creating an uncontrolled release within the system. Oxygen doesn't burn, but it makes everything else burn faster. Leak detection, isolation, and strict ignition control are the only barriers between routine operations and sudden energy release. In a bulk material yard, a front loader reverses and turns as a worker moves across the open ground just outside the operator's line of sight. Keep pedestrians and mobile equipment separated with barriers or designated routes. When separation isn't possible, use spotters and enforce exclusion zones. Front loaders have large blind zones created by the bucket, frame, and cab height. When turning or Reversing, the machine's mass and articulation shift rapidly, sweeping a wide area the operator cannot fully see. If equipment is moving, the ground is not a walking path. Separation, visibility controls, and clear traffic plans are the only barriers between routine operations and irreversible outcomes. Inside a machine shop, a large shaft spins under load when a sudden mechanical release flashes from the cutting zone, sending sparks and fragments outward. Never, ever operate high-energy rotating machinery without verified secure work holding, correct tooling, and enforced exclusion distance during cutting. If the workpiece is improperly clamped, misaligned, or subjected to excessive cutting force, stress can build rapidly at contact points. When that stress exceeds the strength of the material, tooling, or fixture, stored rotational energy is released suddenly. Components can separate, tooling can fail, and energy is discharged beyond the cutting zone, creating a rapid, uncontrolled, mechanical event. Machines don't explode. They release stored energy. Secure clamping, correct speeds, proper tooling, and strict standoff distance keep that energy contained. Around a rotating mass, failure is sudden, relentless, and unforgiving. Inside a partially demolished brick structure, a single pull on a hidden connection is all it takes for the wall to lose its balance and give way. Never, ever apply pulling force to elements in a partially demolished structure unless the load path, restraints, and stability have been fully identified and controlled. In this incident, the structure was already unstable. Parts had been removed, so the wall was no longer supported the way it was originally designed. It may look solid, but it can be relying on weak friction, leftover bonding, and accidental ties to stay standing. When the worker pulled on a connected element, that force introduced sideways tension into a wall built mainly to carry vertical compression. Masonry doesn't Handle tension well so the pull can trigger out-of-plane bending along existing cracks and weak joints. During demolition, pulling on unknown connections turns invisible forces into sudden collapse. If you don't know exactly what's holding a structure up, don't pull because gravity is already waiting to finish the job. During a routine fire drill in an open field, a fire extinguisher is activated, and instead of suppressing the flames, uncontrolled stored energy suddenly releases without warning. Never, ever use a fire extinguisher during training unless it has been properly inspected, pressure checked, and confirmed safe for operation. Fire extinguishers are pressurized vessels. 
they're safe only as long as the cylinder and valve can fully contain that pressure. If corrosion, moisture, fatigue, or valve damage has weakened the unit, it may be operating near its limit. Safety equipment only protects when it's maintained. If inspections are skipped, pressure turns from a tool into a hazard, and failure arrives without a countdown. Inside a busy warehouse yard, a forklift carries a tall, unstable stack of fruits. However, when the load begins to shift, the operator reacts instinctively. Stay in the operator's seat until the forklift load is fully secured and stable, and keep everyone out of the load's fall zone at all times. Forklifts rely on balance between load weight, fork height, mast angle, and counterweight. Tall or uneven loads raise the center of gravity, reducing stability and making the stack sensitive to small movements, braking, or surface irregularities. When a load begins to tip, gravity accelerates it downward immediately. The mass of stacked crates creates a crushing zone, an area where the falling load's force exceeds anything a person can counteract. Stepping out of the cab removes the operator's protection while placing them directly into that zone. You can't catch thousands of kilos. Stay in the cab, lower the load, and move away from instability. Around forklifts, the danger zone is wherever gravity is pulling next. On a narrow street, a man carries a long wooden plank across the roadway as traffic moves close by. One vehicle passes just a little too near. Never, ever carry long or rigid materials through active traffic zones without spotters, traffic control, or physical separation from moving vehicles. Long objects act like levers. When one end is struck by a moving vehicle, the vehicle's momentum transfers instantly through the length of the material. Even a low-speed impact at one end can generate a powerful rotational force at the other. Because the plank is rigid, the force doesn't dissipate, it pivots. That sudden rotation shifts the load faster than it can be controlled, causing rapid loss of stability as the object pivots. The wider the object and the closer the traffic, the greater the amplification of that force. Traffic always wins the momentum battle. Control the space before moving long materials, stop vehicles when needed, and never mix manual carrying with live traffic lanes. On an open work pad, two workers apply force to a long wrench around a vertical pipe. One swing goes offline and the energy goes somewhere unexpected. Control force and rebound. Limit manual force with long tools, maintain a clear swing radius, and keep other people outside the tool's potential snapback path. Long-handled tools act as force multipliers. When a worker applies torque to a stuck fitting, energy is stored in the tool, the joint, and the worker's body position. If the wrench slips, misses, or releases suddenly, that stored energy has to dissipate. Because this motion happens faster than human reaction time, verbal warnings or last-second movements provide no protection. Clear the swing zone, control positioning, and never work shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with high-torque tools in motion. In a rough work yard, a worker powers on an angle grinder, and the tool instantly jerks unpredictably, sliding rapidly across the ground. Never, ever use damaged, modified, or poorly maintained power tools. Loss of control happens faster than reaction time. Angle grinders spin at extremely high RPM, storing rotational energy in the disc and motor. When the tool is damaged, such as a bent spindle, worn bearings, cracked disc, or faulty switch, that rotation becomes unstable the moment power is applied. Inspect before use, remove damaged tools from service, and never rely on grip strength to control unstable rotation. With high-speed tools, condition is the difference between control and chaos. Beside a canal, a worker steps toward the water as an excavator moves close by. Then the bucket releases downward instantly. Maintain the excavator exclusion zone and never walk under a raised bucket. Treat the machine's operating envelope as active whenever the boom is elevated. Excavator buckets are held in position by hydraulic pressure, not mechanical. Locks. If pressure is lost, Due to valve failure, hose issues, control movement, or load shift, the bucket can descend instantly under gravity. This drop requires no command input. Once hydraulic resistance is gone, the mass of the bucket accelerates downward with full weight and momentum. Reaction time is effectively zero. Idle does not mean safe. Hydraulic equipment can move without warning, and gravity never waits. 
Stay clear of raised attachments, establish hard exclusion zones, and never walk beneath suspended loads, especially near edges or water. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Take care.